And I told her that the secret to marriage is, is building your endurance by not giving up. And that it was a lot like sports. And she laughed at me as if to say, what did I know about sports? And then she handed me the divorce papers. I told her I'm a Catholic. I don't believe in divorce. It was 13 years ago that I went to Philip and said that I was having a hard time praying. And he said, well, why don't you lay off the booze? <laughs> and I never thought that coming into this family would strengthen my ties to my own family. My sister and her daughter are here tonight to help me celebrate my 13th birthday. But perhaps the greatest gift my recovery has given me is a renewed sense of purpose in my marriage to the church. I tried to get her to come here, but she told me if I didn't sign the divorce papers, that she'd cut off my allowance. Benny, how long has it been since you've worked regularly? Well, it's not like I don't want to work. I want to find a career. At 40 years old, you're what we in the collection business call a deadbeat. Rhonda, let's be constructive, okay? Look, this was a conventional marriage, except I was the wife. And whose fault is it if, if I'm behind in my vocational aptitude? I say it's hers. And since she walked out, I've been cash advancing the credit cards, stockpiling money. What else can I do? I know she's going to cut me off without a dime. Then where will I be? Working for minimum wage, living in a rented room with six cats? That's a pretty picture. Just a second. Uncle Leo, uh, we need to talk to you. Uh, Abby, tonight may not be the night. It's about this. the wedding. Abby's... I'm all set. I've booked St. Thomas for the last weekend in November. That's right, isn't it? Uh, yes. Now, if I can just find a little time yeah. to work on my homily. Not too long, Father I promise. Let me just say hi to these folks. You go right ahead. Father Ray, you've been very quiet this evening. Is there anything you want to say to Benny? Father Ray? Um, actually, I, I agree with Ben about finding meaningful work. Thank you. I mean, if you find out what you want to do with your life when you're in your 20s, it's great. But a lot of people who've made those decisions are just finding out now they might have to choose again. A lot of us are waking up in the middle of this life we've created full of responsibility and problems and wondering, how the heck did I get here? Feeling as if this whole life choice has been one giant blunder. And if I just waited instead of acting on this feeling I had about God, I'm not so sure I would have become a priest. I still work with people. I'm a people person. I mean, to most people, I'm a people person. But except for those people, I'm not a people person. <laughs> All I'm saying is it's... It's never too late to make a mistake. I mean, you know, to choose a career. So, what do you say we take a coffee break? Uh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I need, you a, need day a day off. off.
Leo, it was your idea to combine the 8 o'clock and 10.30 mass. Well, it doesn't make it a good idea. When did this happen? At the last meeting of the parish council. What about my regulars? I called the Garibaldi sisters. They're willing to go to a later mass. Well, I'm the only one in attendance for Ray's 6 o'clock mass. Leo, you were just complaining you never have time for yourself. I never complain. I'm stoic. I put up and shut up. I was a Marine. <laughs> Weren't you just telling me your niece is getting married and you wanted to spend some time writing the homily? Yes, but I didn't mean for you to cut my mass. Look, let's just try it for now. And the next time the parish council meets... That's a month away. Leo, we'll fix it. Fix it? No. Oh, thank you. Father Leo. Father Leo. Your mail. I'm sorry about your mask. Morning, Larry. You remember to fold your cardboard and put any newspaper in the garbage, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Hey there, Marge. How are you? I think I worked it out so you can take the morning off. I've got classes, you, confessions, Ray. sick calls, committee meetings. I gave your classes to Eric. A confession? Leo was on today. My meeting of gay and lesbian Catholics? I'll take it and the sick calls. The committee on children's liturgy? Cancel. Thanks. OK, what's the catch? You have to take the dances of universal peace. Ah, no way. Ray, just this one time. My homiletics class needs to meet this week on Tuesday. But I can't dance the dance of universal peace and feel like a man, Mo. Oh, but you can dance, can't you? Only if I can have the whole day off. Oh, you give them an inch, they take 10 kilometers. Oh, that's the secret of long distance running. Building your endurance. I thought that was the secret of marriage. That's the secret of everything. Don't give up. Can I get the cup, Father? Well, my father bought this for me when I graduated from the seminary. You feel the hand on that fabric. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's a herringbone. Yeah, herringbone. Yeah. yeah. Real buttons? I don't know. Yep. Hey, this is nice. Yeah, I like it. The shape, too. It's pretty modern. This is like coming back now. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Mo. How are you? What are you all dressed up for? Uh, well, well uh, Mo asked me to take your catechism classes, and I uh, thought I'd make a good impression on the kids look my best. I used to take those classes when you needed a replacement. I'm sorry, Leo. I thought Eric could use the experience. Oh, Eric, I want you to meet our movie person when she shows up. Let us see what a real priest looks like, right? What am I, egg salad? No, you chip beef. Hearty and filling. Leo, I think it would be great if you would meet with the movie person. That's Ray's job to tell her no. He's the pastor. This is a house of worship. It's not a movie set. Well, Ray's trying to take the day off. Since when do priests get a day off? Leo, are you upset because we canceled your mass? <laughs> you know, not everyone is motivated by self-interest and quit troubleshooting my psychology. Oh, boy. What's that? Yeah. All I did was flush. This place is falling apart. You want a day off? Does anybody know anything about pressure toilets besides me? Look, look, can't we just call a plumber? No, uh, we can't even afford a plumber's helper. I'm sorry. I'll get the big wrench. Wait, Ray, can I ask you a question? No. No, listen. What exactly is an annulment that can you get when if you've already had sex with your wife? <laughs> oh, here's Father right now. Hi. Judy Rustoff. This is our movie lady I was telling you about. This is Father Ray. Priest, plumber. Right. This is a wonderful space, um, but I'm just wondering if it's going to be a problem to move these benches so that we could paint on the floor. Paint what on the floor? A pentagram. I naturally will repaint. Or strip it, right? Right. A pentagram? It's a five-pointed star. It protects the priest from evil spirits. I thought this was a remake of the nun story. 
Oh, I didn't say the nun story. No, I said a nun story. Actually, it's a remake of The Devils of Loudon. It's set in a convent. We're updating it. Uh, it's called The Bride of Satan, but that's just a working title. Sydney, we're talking about a terrific source of revenue. You can't make a movie like that here. I know that. Let me do my job. Is there a problem? Uh, yeah, it's thematic concerns. You know. Sorry. And the bishop wants to know about some fight in the soup kitchen. I'll call him back. All right. Uh, and Mrs. Simpson called again about her daughter's wedding. I'm not performing any more weddings, ever. Oh, really? Well, that's too bad, because there's some guy waiting for you whose fiancé was baptized but not confirmed, and he wants to know if she has to have her first marriage annulled before they can get married in the church. I'll have them talk to you tomorrow. Mom, what are you doing here? I found this at home. I got worried. Why would you need antibiotics? So I called the number on the prescription, and an abortion clinic answered. Is this true? Yes. Don't you know what this means? I mean, you work here. You must know I what it know means. I know what the church teaches. I'm not talking about the church. I'm talking about God. It's in the commandments. Mom, it's done, so there's no use discussing it. Did you know about this? Yes. I told him. Then why didn't you stop her? It wasn't his decision. It was hers. Well, she happens to be a kid. Any good priest could have stopped her. He would have taken her to God and helped her to see what was right. But you're not a good priest. You're no kind of priest at all. I do my best. Paula, that's enough. No! I'm a good Catholic. I'm a good mother. I rely on the church to help me to raise my daughter, and this is what I get? This guy doing his best? When I know, everybody knows. His best is never going to be good enough. I deserve better. This parish deserves better. Mom! Mom! Very convincing arguments when they're angry. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you later. You know, running away never solved anything. How would you know, Leo? When's the last time you ran away? Priests don't run away. This one does. 